Hi all, this is Upasna from Edureka and in this module, I'm going to do a sit down comparison between two very popular BI tools, Power BI and the MS BI. Now, before I begin, let me make it very clear that when I say MS BI, I'm going to talk about only one of its SQL Server data tools, which is the SSRS. I'll let you know the difference in a bit. Now, the MSBI is a Microsoft product with ETL capabilities, which basically means it can extract, transform, and load data. It has this multidimensional data organizing and visualization ability. So MSBI comes with three subcomponents or tools to support the earlier mentioned functionalities. The following are the components of MSBI. So we have the SQL Server Integration Services or the SSIS, which is a component which basically works as a data integration service and perform up to some level of ETL activity. Next, we have the SQL Server Analytics Service, which is a component which works as multidimensional data storage using Cube to store the facts and dimensions. Finally, this is what we are going to be comparing Power BI with. This component, the SSRS or the SQL Server Reporting Service, works as a data visualization and reporting layer and it allows to create dashboards and reports for MSBI. I'm doing this because we can't really compare MSBI with Power BI, which was basically just designed to improve the self-service capabilities of the older SSRS, which is just one of many services of the MSBI. So let's start with the comparison. But first of all, what are these two tools? So the SSRS or the SQL Server Reporting Services is a BI service for data analysis and generating reports on the server-based data. It was developed in 2004 by Microsoft along with its data analytics and data integrating counterparts. Now it is a comprehensive extensible reporting platform which includes integrated set of processing components and programming interfaces. It is used to design, test and deploy the report. So mainly it's a server-based platform. On the other side, we have Power BI, which was also developed by Microsoft in the year 2017, which is a data analysis and reporting tool, which can be used for reporting from a wide range of data sources, both traditional and untraditional. Now the Power BI desktop allows you to create reports on the fly and publish them. Using any browser, end users can view these reports. So the Power BI is simple and user friendly, which helps business analyst skills and power BI users to work easily on it. For the complex and huge data analysis, Power BI is very useful as it is widely used for modeling and structuring of unshaped data. So this comparison is going to be based upon the following criteria. We have implementation, benefits of each of these tools, accessibility and use on various platforms, license and pricing, a learning curve, user experience, data dependency, and finally, the conclusion. So without much ado, let's begin with the comparisons. First of all, we have implementation of each of these tools. Now the SSRS is used for server-based reports only, while the Power BI is used for server-based as well as cloud-based reports. Now the biggest difference between these two systems is how they are deployed. Since cloud-based software is hosted on the vendor servers and accessed through a web browser, and on-prem software is installed locally on a company's own computer and server, the fact that these services are equally promising has led to an ongoing discussion about the superiority and the security concerns of one over the other. The fundamental point is that not all solutions work equally well in the cloud or in the on-premise hosted solution. There are benefits and disadvantages to both the platforms. Your choice between these platforms will depend mostly on the type of need, service, or software you're considering. Now, what about the cloud platform? Hardware failures do not result in data loss because of network backups. So cloud computing uses remote resources, saving organizations the cost of servers and other equipment. Also, a utility pay structure on the cloud platform used by Power BI means that users only have to pay for the resources they use. However, with the rise of cloud-based services, an additional fear comes into play. After all, you're trusting someone else to host your data, aren't you? The fear is so widespread that many IT leaders believe that this powerful internet services are a security nightmare. So in that case, server-based reports are definitely safer. 
which gives one point to SSRS and one point to Power BI. Next, we have benefits of each of these tools. Now, both of these services have their own benefits, while the SSRS by MSBI has a better drill down capacity, which basically means in a GUI environment, you can move from one place to another information to detail data by focusing in on something. The Power BI, on the other hand, has a plethora of rich visuals, which should represent data so much better. Also, since it was designed to improve the self service capabilities of the older SSRS, Anyone who can visualize data can use it easily. Next, we have accessibility. This is a pretty simple point. The SQL Server Reporting Service or the SSRS can be operated using the web and desktop, whereas the Power BI can be used with the desktop, the web, and the mobile app. You can also generate a QR code from a report in the Power BI, just in case you want limited people to have access to your reports. Next, we have the license and pricing. Pretty important. So the free version for the SSRS lasts 180 days, which is followed by a base charge of $931. Whereas a free version for Power BI lasts only 60 days, but the base price is less than $10. Note that the pricing I have mentioned here are only the base prices of both, and there are other versions of these services and the prices vary for each of them. Next, we have a very important aspect, which is the learning curve for each of these tools. Now, the Power BI is a graphical tool, so through drag and drop, you can easily complete your report, but the internal processes are hidden, so you can't really understand how it works. But in the SSRS, the developer has to do all the coding and designing of the report, so the developer has a better picture of the process and a better understanding of how this data works. Next, we have user experience which is a complete win-win for Power BI, as it has a lot of graphical component as compared to SSRS. It makes Power BI way more efficient and easier to use, whereas in SSRS, it has more manual effort to be put in for analysis and generating the reports, so it's not really the easiest option for beginners. With that, I come to my final point, which is the data dependency. Now, the Power BI can deal with structured as well as unstructured data, but due to that, its data capacity is limited to only 10 MB or 33,000 rows of data, whereas the SSRS deals with structured and semi-structured data, so you can create really large reports on it. I think with that, we are ready to conclude. So as you can see, I've made comparisons on both sides for the SSRS as well as the Power BI. Now, the SSRS is for your pixel perfect operational reporting, so that is why it ensures a better background understanding of data, a higher drill down capacity, it works with structured data, does not have any size limit to reports, and most importantly, it has a design first approach. And the Power BI, on the other hand, is first and foremost an analysis tool, so it allows you to visualize your data in different ways in order to allow deeper understanding of your business and not the process. So that is why it is rich in visuals. It is supported by cloud service. It is interactive and pretty, pretty user friendly. It is portable and low cost. So till now, SSRS has had a lot of presence in the IT market, but now Power BI has made its presence known across all domains. The choice between Power BI and SSRS will likely be straightforward and likely be driven by requirements. So if your organization uses only paginated reports on premises, you shall decide that SSRS is more cost effective as an option. On the other side, if you have the need to render interactive or analytical reports on the business, then possibility is Power BI reporting services will likely be your preferred choice. So now that you know the pros and cons of each of the services, which one do you prefer? If you like this module and want more of such content on business intelligence, do tell us in the comment section below and we shall be happy to oblige.